Hi, this is Dave, aka Freak from Virtual Places, and today I was going to show you how to uh, make color swatches for your paints in VP. Anyways, one of the first things I would do is uh, go to Google, and I'm going to do hair color. So you just type in your hair color and charts, and see what uh, Google pulls up. Google does its things, and as you can see, it has a whole bunch of different charts for hair. And just go on through and look at something that you like. You click full size image. And here you got your full size image. Right click again and copy. And now that's in your clipboard. And you will bring that into whatever paint program you use and paste it. That's step one. Okay, now we're ready for our part two of this tutorial, which is to make the actual swatch. And we've already been to Google and now we have an image that's pasted in clipboard and we are going to bring it in. And to do that we go to File, New, and that would be the size of the image that we pasted. Hit OK and then uh, Control V to paste it in. And there we go, there's the image that we just have to Google and as you can see I've downloaded a few other ones all from Google, different uh, charts, the one's for lipstick, one for skin, and this one's hair, the one we did, and this is the chart I, uh, I previously made, one that we're going to make, and to make a new one all you do is go file new, and I made mine around 400 or so, by 400, hit OK, and you'll probably want your background to be black, just so the colors show up a little bit better, so there you go, and uh, Next we go to selection here and uh, you'll want it to be a fixed sized. I did uh, mine 15 by 15 so you just pop that in there. That's so uh, you can uh, get a consistent square wherever you select. So you make your selection here and then we just start to fill them in. And go here to the image that we just made and you go down to your eyedropper. If you come over here and you right click you can see there's like the point sound which is the uh, default but you'll want like an average 5x5 five five is what I use and you just, as you click on the different hair colors you can see over here it changes color and it changes color changes color and you just start to make your selection here and you go back over here to paint your paintbrush and you just paint your square in then you uh, can move your selection down with a couple spaces in between it. Come back over here with your eyedropper and click. And there's your other square. Come back over here and paint it in. And you basically just keep on doing this till you got your uh, chart done. Over here, make it blonde this time. Come over here, paint. And you just, like I said, just keep on doing it till you're done. If you don't want to uh, keep on hitting your art dropper here, the, you can just keep it on a uh, paintbrush. Move your selection down here. Keep it on paintbrush, but when you come in here, if you hold down your Alt key, your cursor changes into the eye drop. You need to go with the red hair this time. Come over here and just paint, and that just saves you a step so you don't have to keep on going down here to the eye drop all the time. But, anyways, you just continue on making your chart it's over here and you can organize it any way you want like make your rolls so that you have like all your redheads here your blondes here your your brunettes or you know and then you have your, your lipsticks with the different like, like the red and then like more pink and purple colors whatever you just uh, to change and organize your chart any which way you want and then uh, that's pretty much all I did and this is the chart I have as you can see here I have a couple that are like have a white box around it and what that is here is I like all they're my favorites they're the colors I use fairly often there I just wanted them to stand out so all I did for that was uh, highlight though which one was my favorite turn to white go to edit stroke uh, one pixel inside, hit OK, and once I move my uh, selection, 
you'll see that there's a white highlight all around it and that just makes it stand out so I can uh, pick it easily when I'm coloring and painting because it is one of my favorite colors for uh, skin tone. If you want to take this uh, a little bit farther you could uh, actually make your colors into swatches as opposed to like the way I prefer it which is just an image so I can just uh, use my eyedropper and go to whatever color I want and I can have my highlight so I can find the ones, uh, my favorite ones very easily. And that's just the way I prefer it. So as I have all my, just the way I organize things. So I have all my skin, all my lips, all my hair colors all ready. I can just eyedropper and then be uh, ready to paint whatever image with that color. But uh, some people may prefer to actually make it into a swatch, into your swatches. And uh, there's a few ways to do that. One way is to do it is to uh, go here, and uh, here's my colors here, and go to uh, image mode index color. And you turn it and then go back to image mode and you go down here to uh, the color table. Hit color table and it automatically makes this little color term, which is all the colors that I have in this image are in this uh, custom table and all you do is uh, you save so save it as whatever you want to call it uh, VP colors uh, 2 I guess because I already have one and I uh, hit save and there it's saved and to get them into your actual swatches you go here to your uh, preset manager uh, load. You have to change it to your ATC, and there's the one we just saved. VP Colors 2. Double click it. Say you're done, and as soon as you say you're done, you watch over here. You know, they'll all pop up. Done, and as you can see, they all came into your color swatch. Now you have all your colors in as actual swatches. The only problem with that is uh, you get all these uh, weird names. That really don't mean anything to anything to anyone they're just uh, some code that is uh, made up as you can hear the default colors where they actually have the real names and uh, we can fix that just let me uh, reset my swatch here uh, reset swatches okay so there's my reset swatch and uh, this is the easier way to do it. We'll show you. Get your eyedropper, and you can see the Auburn. And you click, it changes the color here. And uh, once that color is changed in your selection tool there, you just come over here and right click, and you get a name tag. And you can call it Hair Auburn. And then hit OK. And then as you can see, a swatch appeared. If you hold your mouse over it, you see that it's uh, named Hair Auburn, and you can just uh, add as many swatches as you like that way. Just uh, keep on adding, and we'll try one more uh, to go with the dark carper. Change the color over there. Go over here, right click Hair Dark Copper. Hit OK, and as you can see. It adds the swatch and it is named Hair Dark Carper. And you can go through and add as many colors as you like that way. Uh, making like like denim and have all the colors for denim, like your boos and browns and blacks, and then uh, our lips, and then have like, you know, whatever color the charts tell you that the color it is. But then you can organize it that way. And uh, after you have like, your uh, swatches filled up, you'd want to save them. To save them, you just go to here and go to save swatches and just name it whatever you want. VP uh, color swatch. And you save it. And anytime you need it, all you have to do is come here and uh, load it. Load swatches and it will load the swatch that you just saved. And uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.